Hey ladies, it's me again, Rachel. Um, thought I'd do a video on the different looks you can get from one plain dress. There's a ton of videos out there on how to accessorize a little black dress, but since it's fall, I thought I would do one on how to accessorize an autumn look. This is just kind of a, uh, a deep black rust orange color dress. So, um, this is look number one, and I went ahead and did this look first because Mandy's so small. If y'all can tell, I like billow over the top of her. Uh, my clothes are kind of hard to fit her, and to get the little belt on her was a little tricky. So I did this one first. Uh, first thing you can do is just any kind of plain dresses. You can belt it. Uh, you know, you could do a brown belt, black belt, silver belt, gold belt, etc. Here I just chose a really dark chocolate brown. And then I paired with it the mid-mod necklace. And it's got those really dark beads that kind of match that the dark in the belt. Let you guys see that. See those really dark beads? Isn't that pretty? Okay. So anyway, so that was look one, just belted with a necklace. Um, another thing you could always do is you could just wear it plain. I wouldn't do that, but you might. <laughs> That's always a look. Um, and this little white thing here is just kind of Mandy's bra. You typically, when you wore this, you wouldn't see that. It's just because she's so tiny. Um, okay, so that was look one. This is look two, just plain and by itself. Um, kind of look three. And I kind of like the browns with the blacks. And this isn't really brown. It's kind of a, a rust orange. But you could just kind of pair a little black vest with it. And this kind of has some lace detail. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but just a little bit of lace detail with it. Um, and this would be really cute. Um, you could do different jewelry options. I believe this is called Into the Swing. It's just a dark hematite with some uh, tassels, which is very on trend right now. It's kind of what I would pair that with. And then some little black booties. Okay, so that would just be Totally different look than the first couple of looks. Take this off. I need to get like some editing software so I can like pause and then restart. I haven't figured out how to do all that yet. So bear with me, ladies. I will get there eventually. <laughs> okay. Um, something else you could do. Kimonos are really in. So this is kind of a printed kimono. It's got different color leaves and stuff. Some of the colors that are in the dress. You could pair that with it. And then I like this uh, Shades of Cheap necklace. And I know some of you girls are not big girls. But it's just got some really beautiful fall colors in it. So I'll just kind of pair that with that. Like that. Okay. Gives you a completely different look. And again, I'm doing this on this autumn color dress. But any solid color dress you could do this stuff with. So, that was look number three or look number four. Okay, uh, for the next look, I kind of kind of want to go boho. Show you what I got there. And I don't know if y'all have tons of different stuff like I'm pairing with this, but I bet you have a couple. So, a lot of times we get in the routine and like, We'll have something like this, and we'll just always wear it with one thing, and we don't think about, well, what else could we pair this with? But this is just a really pretty crocheted, I don't know if they call these kimonos, but just kind of cover up. Um, I think I got it at Maurice's or somewhere like that. Put that in there like that, and, you know, your sleeves would kind of hang out. So, and then I would kind of pair that because it's kind of a boho look. I would pair that with this piece, which is also new in our collection. It's also got kind of some of those, uh, that same brownish burn orange color. And I forgot the name of this one. But I kind of pair that like that. Just really cute. Um, maybe with some little booties. Okay. We look number five. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. What else could we do? And this will keep it from looking like you're wearing the same thing like week after week. 
you know, if you have uh, different jewelry and different kind of cover-ups in the fall, you really can get more wear out of a out of a dress or a shirt. So this look will be from when it gets a little bit cooler, but this is just a really light kind of leather or pleather jacket. And I'm going to pair this with Grand Canyon. And I want you to know, this necklace does not have this color in it, but it does have some beads that are this color, and it just really pops up against this dress. I don't know if you guys can see how pretty the, the beading is or not in that. But very detailed, very pretty. It's got some browns and some creams and some blues. And this jacket has some silver detail, so that just looks real cute. And again, I'd probably pair it with little brown booties. Okay. So I think that's look number six, maybe. Okay. I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm going pretty quick, though, to be changing the clothes and stuff. Uh, let's see. Next thing you could do, uh, this is also kind of a boho look. This is just kind of a little fringy vest, like a uh, suede kind of material. I think it also came from like Maurice's. Gives you a different look. And I'm going to pair it with this little necklace. It's got the little fringe tassels. And you just get that kind of look right there. Really cute. Okay. So now, who doesn't have a denim vest or a denim jacket? Okay. So denim is very in. Unless you've been hiding under a rock somewhere. You had to have noticed all the denim that's everywhere, right? Okay. So when you buy denim, a lot of times you'll notice it can come with bronze buttons or silver buttons or gold buttons. Same things with the vest. Um, so here it is just kind of with this, with a little denim jacket. Isn't that cute? So a couple things here. One, this is our... Uh, Switch it up or swap it out necklace. One is silver and one's gold. I forget which one's which. But this is just a really pretty three tiered necklace with some very beautiful beading in it and turquoise accents. And this is also, you can remove these strands, wear them one at a time or all together. I kind of lock them all together. The layered looks really new. Anyway, there's kind of a look there. Okay. You could also take this look and do a scarf with it. There's thousands of videos on how to wear scarves different ways, but you kind of get the general idea. Or you could wear it this way or all the different ways you can wear it. No jewelry in this one. You'd want an arm party and stuff still, of course, but just kind of gives it a different look. The denim jacket. Um, and this has some like, lighter browns and stuff in it. So again, I would probably pair it with a with a light booty for the fall. Um, and then of course you can wear with just a scarf. Kind of gives you even a more different look. Um, and then animal prints very on trend. So you could swap out this scarf. I think this came from Kato's. And you could wear it with this little scarf from like Charm and Charlie's. And if you had a scarf or some animal print shoes, it would be really cute with this. With just like a black scarf. Really, really cute. Really, really on trend. Um, anyway, uh, you ladies, let me know what you think of kind of about all the different ways you can dress and accessorize one dress.